Hey guys and girls, welcome to this quick Photoshop tutorial. Today I will show you how to make a masonry or collage in Photoshop using the grid system. This video is sponsored by Surfshark, a VPN service that helps you navigate safer on the internet protects you from malware, hacking, or price discrimination. For example, when you want to buy tickets or online courses where you see a different price each time you visit a website. Sign up and use the code SHARKBOX for 83% discount and three additional free months. Use the link on the video description. And just to let you know, this is a limited time offer, so the code will not work forever. Okay, so what I mean by masonry gallery or collage is a type of gallery where the rows or mm, columns are irregular. Let me show you a quick, uh, quick example on internet. So this would be a typical type of masonry gallery where you have four columns and then you can see the height of this is irregular. So some of them are taller than others. So you have to well, a few possibilities here. So you can have a regular column width and then just vary the height, or you can have something completely random, like for example, this one where you have different, um, well, this is an animated, uh, this one would be a better idea, a, a better example. Here you have the same height, but different width. And so you have different amount of columns here you have four and then you have three, four and four. Um, so this will be a second type and then you can have a completely random one. Like I showed you here, you have different uh, width and height of uh, of this. So let me show you how you can do this in Photoshop really quick. And we, we will use guides for that. You can use uh, make them manually like this and calculate everything but it's a lot easier if you use another tool and that tool is called the new guide layout so go to view choose new guide layout and from here you can create a modular design here have this uh, panel which allows you to create columns and rows and also you can set spacing between each column right now i have five pixels Okay, so I'll set this to 10 in my case. And the objective here is obviously we cannot create irregular columns and irregular rows. So what we're going to do instead is create a grid with lots of uh, these little squares and then we can dra uh, draw ourselves our own gallery. So as for the width, I will choose 16 columns and rows, which is the horizontal division. I'll probably use, uh, let's say, 16 as well. The objective here is to try to have some uh, this to be square, as square as possible. I think it's going to make your job easier. Maybe 18 would be better. And then you can also have set a margin from, from the borders, from the edges of your document. But in my case, I will not do that. So I don't want to have margins. Also, if you don't want to have separation between the images, you can set the gutter to zero and that way you your images will be touching each other. So I'll just for this video use 10 and click OK. Now, this is my modular design. The next step is to design the gallery itself. It's a good idea to have like a basic idea of how you want to make this. As I said, you can have like a maximum number of uh, or a regular number of rows for example i could have five or six rows and then just keep that and just modify the height of each photo or i can have different amount of rows and the same height for each photo uh, i will use the second option so the next step is to grab the frame tool now this is a new tool in photoshop cc if you have photoshop cs6 you will not be able to do it so you'll have to manually place the images here. With the frame tool, it's a lot easier because you can select the frame tool, zoom in, and for example, I can draw something like this. And this will snap to this, guys. If it doesn't, you have to go to View, Snap to, choose, well, activate this option, and also check the Snap option. And now I have one frame. This will be the placeholder for one of my images. 
then I'll create another one which will be something like this and let's say I want to have a panoramic image here which I will spread all the way all the way to the to the edge here now I have my first row on the second one I'll use something like this uh, notice that I have the same amount of squares so I have four but as I said you can uh, vary this and do it the other way I don't like to create um, for example on the second row I wouldn't do something like this because I, I don't think it's going to look nice I want to have some sort of uh, order here so I will keep the same height for for the entire thing here and probably make another one here and another one there and that's how you would uh, do this I'm gonna really quickly uh, create the rest of the the gallery here let's do it like so and start the second one here well probably square now as you can see my I didn't plan this um, right because I have this gap here so I would probably have to make the image a little higher a little taller or actually calculate the amount of squares I want for each photo so that way I have a, a correct distribution here but anyways I'm gonna leave it like that you you got the idea so now I have my gallery ready I'm gonna press ctrl command H to hide my guides and now I have the placeholder for our Im for my images. The next step is to just drag the images on top of this um, of these frames. So I have my gallery ready here. I downloaded some images from Pexels, and all you need to do now is just grab your images and put them on top of those uh, of those um, frames. And Photoshop will adjust the size and the height of them to fill those frames. That's why I said it's all easier than just placing your image manually okay now obviously if you have this is a like a panoramic shot so um, it's better to use an image like this which is wider so I'll just use this image again even though you could use something like this for example let's do it here it's gonna but you have to make it wider manually by pressing ctrl T or command T and I'm just gonna quickly populate this over here with my images with my sample images and this one over here I'm gonna use the dog image again probably replace that one obviously if you wanna if you wanna replace an image just dra drag an image on top of the one that you already have and let me just show you right here you can see it's really quickly uh, replacing it so that's why I said it's all easier to work with this frame tool and let's see this other one over here okay now press ctrl command t to make it wider and that's it of course you can move this to fit it inside of your uh, container there okay so my gallery is ready really quick and i have the same space in between them obviously if i want to have a different background i would use on on the bottom a solid color and from here i could uh, change the color that i have as background okay so that's all this is a quick uh, trick on how to make a masonry gallery in photoshop if you like this video make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications every time i upload a new photoshop tutorial i'm andre thanks for watching and hope to see you on my next tutorial